Hello everyone, welcome back. Finally getting around to the cylinder head. I'm gonna lap all the valves in. Got my valve grinding paste. And I'm all set for a new day. Let's grab a valve. There's a couple of different ways you can do this. You know, a lot of people put them through and put like a rubber hose and a drill on the other end of it and spin it with a drill. Uh, I don't do it that way. I mean, you can. It's all preference, really. So I use this uh, valve lapping compound. And I guess what this stuff is supposed to do is it supposed to change grits as you do this because as you grind it down it, it gets finer and finer you know. um, and it's not like these really needed a lot either a uh, little oil on the stem I use the suction cup method so a lot of times that helps if you put grease on the end of the suction cup to help it stick better. I'm not sure which size I'm gonna need here. Let's try this one. There we go. It's like building a fire, right? Keep going, you'll hear the pitch change when your grit's uh, getting low. Just lift it up and tap it back down again. That should let some back in there again. Like I said, these weren't really that bad, so we just want to run them through there a little bit. Clean them up. Make sure they all look good they'll get that like gray on them where they've been contacting nice and even and make sure we clean all this off yeah looks good um there's a measurement you can take with your calipers to measure how wide this is because if it's too wide um, then you'll have to have it reground but uh, this doesn't look bad okay I'll continue to do the rest all right time to put the valves back in Gonna put a little oil on the stem Bring it up through the bottom. Got the bottom spring seat here. Put that in. Then put our spring in with our top. Got to get up my compressor now. Some assembly required. All right. So the tool is on the valve on the bottom side. Crank this up or down, I should say. We'll stick our little collars in there.
go. There's one valve in, and I'll do the same for the other three. All the valves are back in, hopefully playing nicely with the seats, and we'll move on to something else. I'm going to take this rear sprocket off. It's just three bolts and nuts holding it on. Okay, that's all set. I guess I can put the wheel bearings back in that rear wheel now and try to tighten that nut. So upon inspecting these bearings, they look pretty good. The races look pretty good too. So we're just going to re-grease these and put them back in. All right, rear wheels all put back together. It's kind of a big step there, isn't it? Um, yep, new sprocket. Bearings back in, tightened. New tire, tube, rim strip. So I got the front hub kind of cleaned up. Um, if we can get the brake to look like that, I'll be happy. All right, it came out pretty good. Definitely uh, a lot of pitting on this arm, but the rest of the metal looks good. Um, I still haven't polished it, I just cleaned it. So I'll do that and then I should be done with the front wheel. So as far as the rocker box goes, I believe if you take these two nuts off, slide all the springs, rocker arms out, there's some O-rings on this side. Uh, this is the oil tube that feeds it. Uh, so we'll take those out and see if we got the right O-rings to replace there. So if you just give them a good shot, it'll pop this out, I think, far enough so we can get the O-ring out without having to remove all the rockers. Thank God we got the right O-rings, because that one split. So they were pretty hard. Put some oil on this. All right. Then I should just be able to Tap that back in. All right, do the same with the other one. All right, the brake pedal I'm getting ready for paint. Um, the shifter lever is not supposed to be painted. I got some of it off, so I'll work on that. This is not supposed to be painted either, the kickstart lever. Uh, maybe the chrome's really bad underneath, that's why they did it. Uh, I'm gonna try to get the paint off and take a look. Yeah, so that must have been the issue. Just too much rust. They must have uh, painted it so it wouldn't look so bad. This is all beat to crap too. Um, yeah, so I'll paint up the brake pedal. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these yet. That thing, this, there's supposed to be a spring or something, it, or a detent or something, it doesn't, it just flops around. It doesn't like go back and hold. So I'll have to take a look at that. So today is the day we are going to start putting stuff on the frame, finally. Starting out with our triple trees. 
first thing I got to do is uh, pack these bearings. Get one on the stem here. Is, do not eat. And we'll see about that. All right. Let me pack these bearings. And I got to put a seal and drive one of these down. Another drill. Packing bearings. Just keep going until it starts to come out one side. Move it around. Keeps coming out. Once you've got it so it's around all the whole bearing, you can just smear it on the outside. So I slid my bearing down. I got the seal here. I slid the bearing down to where it gets tight, which is the widest part of this. Now, <clears throat> I have a piece of PVC pipe that will go over here. And I'll just drive it down the rest of the way with that. Just that simple. Now I'll put some more grease on here, slather up some grease on the stem. I got to put the races in top and bottom. Then I'll slide it up, put the other bearing on, the nut and all that stuff. Put a little grease on the ring. Putting a little grease on here. Start with the rubber mallet, though I don't know how good this is going to do. Actually, not bad at all. All right. Let, I'll get the front one in, same way. That's in all the way. It's a nice shiny chrome rim on here. Ring, I should say. So we got a ring here, our nut here, spin a wrench to tighten it, just keep checking it, make sure nothing's binding. You don't want it too tight and you don't want it too loose. I usually go tight and then back off a little just to make sure that the um, races are set in properly. Tighten it one more time. All right, that's good. Next, we're going to put our top tree on. Now, I painted this one like a semi-gloss black. That's what color it was on there. I've seen other ones that are black on 66, and I've seen aluminum, you know, like uh, silver aluminum. So I don't know which is the exact right one, or if different markets had different colors, or if somebody just painted a bunch of them. A lot of people liked them black. I don't know. 
This one was black, so I cleaned it off and repainted it. Remember this guy? Well, maybe not this one. I broke, <laughs> broke the one that was in there, but I did get a new one. So let's install this whole damper system. So this bolt with the little shoulder on it that has no threads. We're gonna start that up through here. That's what's gonna go on the slot of this. So we have to bolt this on. We have like a friction disc type thing. Then we have this stay, then we have another friction disc, then we have another stay, then we have the star washer, then we have that piece. So let's get that in like that. Is that on the right end of that? Or is that, does that go on the other end of that? That goes on that end. That looks like it fits a little better. All right. Then we have one of these rubber washers. We have one of these rubber washers that goes inside here. Like that. Our stem with a nut and washer. Go through that. Hold on. And we got to thread it into the piece that, you know, we got messed up last time. Now, before we tighten, tighten this, let's get this lined up. And this bolt tightened up down here. So that can't spin on us. Before we get too carried away here, Let's get this locked in. And we gotta get a bolt through there. Now that bolt, that bolt's kind of a long bolt. I'm surprised there's no spacer in it. This bolt, I mean, this has to be able to slide, right? Can you tighten or loosen that plate? I mean, that's what I'm thinking anyway. So I wouldn't think that this is going to be tight, tight to, you know, bend it down like that. Just tighten this down and see what goes on. Yeah, well that tightens the steering all right. We don't want it that tight. So yeah, how tight do you get this? And why won't it back out? I would have thought there'd be like a sleeve in there or something. Hmm. So this is kind of a time consuming process. Like you want, you got a nut here or something you want to reuse. You get some degreaser and you scrub it. Get all the gunk off of it first. Then once you're done with that,
bring it over here. Start cleaning up the sides of it. Until you get it to look like something like this again. Better than it was, right? So while this is easy to get at, I'm gonna put the side side stand on it. Kickstand, whatever you want to call it. I'm just uh, greasing up the pivot bolt right now. Let's see, how's this gonna look? I think I want it this way. gonna go here so that's gonna go there to line that up Get this in here so I can line it up. Pretty much just need to get this bolt started. on this side and the nut that way it'll lock it in hey I got the bike up on a stand and now I'm gonna start putting the front forks in I got two brand new fork gears because remember this didn't really have any uh, trim rings uh, I apologize for my neighbors. They are the noisiest neighbors. I don't know why they just can't talk at a normal volume. Um, but anyway, let's start on putting this together. So I oiled up and put this fork lock on. It's locked now. And unlocked. So that works now. Uh, I cleaned that up because somebody had painted it black. This I'm going to have to repaint myself. I didn't do any of that. It's hard enough to get these screws in under here because you can't. This has to come apart somehow. I don't know how it does it. But anyway, that's done. <laughs> All right, so I had to put this side together just so I could understand how it, how it goes. But I'll show you how to do the other side. And it's not easy. Um, the Yamaha, it's almost the same as the Yamaha, and I was hoping the tool that I made for the Yamaha would work. And that was this. So what happened is, it, you know, you thread this into the fork and you could pull the fork up. Because with the spring on there, and the, you know, the fork wanting to go in, it's hard to get it all the way up the tube to get to this nut. 
but uh, I'll show you show you how I did it. Some of you may not approve, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> First thing I have to do is remove the washer and the O-ring from the fork cap. That way I, it'll go down further and I can try to thread it in and pull that fork up. I'm gonna replace that O-ring anyway. All right, these trim pieces, this is what holds the fork boot up. There's a rubber part and then a metal washer. And then I'm going rubber part and metal washer here. We're gonna take our fork here and our new trim piece. We're gonna get these all oily from our hands as we try to do this. Nothing stays nice. sure this fork is fully extended. I'm gonna start to see if you can get it up through all this mess. Okay, here's, the, here's where it gets to the problem, because, let's get this spring in the guide first. All right. Because the fork's still down there, and you cannot grab the fork anymore. This is where some of you are not going to approve. She lost some of it.
I guess I don't didn't need the O-ring and the washer removed for this one because I can actually get it started now, I think. Put our pinch bolt in. All right. Whew. Those are as fully extended as they're gonna get. Well, the front fender needs a good polishing. New screw versus old screw. I don't know if it looks that different to you, but in person, it's a lot different. Uh, and they were available and cheap. I know I said this wasn't a restoration, but come on, that looks much better. All right, I got the fender on it. Put the tire on it with it standing up like that. Wouldn't that be something? So 18 inch tire on a, with a 19 inch fender. It doesn't look bad. And that's probably because this tire is about a half inch taller than the normal uh, tire that belongs on here. Front end is on. I think that's where we'll leave it for today. Next time I think I'll put the back on. So this thing could balance a little better and be able to roll around. I still don't have the rings that I need for the engine, but they are on their way. I think they're one state away. So with that, I'll sign off. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.